For one local couple, a stroll along the Padre Island National Seashore wound up being a lot more interesting than they first thought it would. Yeah, this is really cool. They ended up finding one of those messages in a bottle that dates back more than five decades. It's an amazing story that has gained national attention. And today, the couple talked to our Bill Churchwell about their big discovery. Okay, so we pick up these paddles. You can call them beachcombers. We hardly ever pass up a net. Or even treasure hunters. Hard hats. We found duck decoys, a mannequin head. Either way, Jim and Candy Duke are used to finding unusual things that have washed up at the beach. We just like to get there early so that we can beat people to the treasures. <laughs> they have it all on display in their backyard here at their home. We probably have over a hundred bottles. But a recent stroll along Malachite Beach turned up the holy grail of bottles. Mixed in with a bunch of tree limbs, they found this, a real message in a bottle. Their reaction captured in a picture. Jim's face says it all. We were real excited and it said break bottles. The, bottle's just a the bottle looked pretty old, so they made a Facebook Live video to document the opening process. You know, I think you always are, I, you know, romantic want to find that message in a bottle, you know, is it from some guy to a girl or, or vice versa. They tried to uncork it, which proved to be difficult as the seal actually broke their wine opener, but they kept going. The mystery continues. The couple finally able to get their hands on that mysterious note. So what would it say? Ooh, here we go. This bottle is one of a series released at known locations in the Gulf of Mexico by scientists from the Galveston Botanical Laboratories. Today you would know the organization as the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. The letter goes on to explain that scientists released the bottles as part of a study to determine the role the current plays in the movement of young shrimp. It said to fill out the postcard and mail it in. So Jim and Candy did just that, and in return, a 50 cent reward will be sent for each completed return. Turns out the bottle was one of about 7,800 bottles that were thrown into the Gulf all the way back in 1962. And while it might not have contained a treasure, they sure do have a story to tell. As for that promised reward. Did you get your 50 cents? <laughs> no, Matt Johnson with Noah asked me, did, did I want him to send me a check for 50 cents? And I told him, no, keep the money. Bill Churchwell. Three news. I wonder what 50 cents would be uh, right. worth back then, but still very cool, worth it.